Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. This message is going to be for the sign of Leos. Hi Leos, how y'all doing my beautiful lions, my lionesses? I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning into my channel. For this beautiful energy reading, this is going to be your upcoming energy. My beautiful lions, my lionesses, my Leos watching this video. I am going to get right into your reading. Um, for your energy, Leo, I'm getting that you guys are in a transition period. When I say transition period, Leo, it's like you guys are really waking up to reality. It's like reality is hitting you. Every day you learn something new. So this is what I heard. Every day you're learning something new. Every day you're seeing people for their true colors. Every day you're feeling uncomfortable around certain people. You don't know why. It's because you guys have received an awakening from the Most High, my beautiful Leos. So you guys are feeling, um, you guys are feeling out of place around certain people, certain family members, old friends. Um, you guys are just not resonating with everyone like you used to, okay, my beautiful Leos. So let's get into your message, guys, and let's see what Spirit has for you. Give me one second, guys. Sorry guys, I had my order come in while I was on the reading. Sorry guys about that interruption. Okay, my beautiful Leos, let's get into your energy real quick. Leos, what is coming up for my Leos? Queen of Cups, okay, so there's a Queen of Cups here. Okay, male or female, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This could be a mother figure in your life, Leo, or this could be um, someone that... Um, is around you. This could be a partner, lover, ex, lover. Let's see. Let's see what spirit got. This could be a anyone. This could be a feminine or masculine in your life with this water energy here. What else, spirit? Out, Anna. What do you have for the beautiful Leos? King of Cups. Wow. So this is like a couple, a pair, two people. Uh, Queen of Cups and King of Cups, okay? This is a pair. Let's see what's going on. Who is this King of Cups here in this Queen of Cups? Spirit guides and angels. Yes, please and thank you. Okay. The Temperance card. You guys are needing to balance out your emotions, balance out your energies, Okay, the angels are pouring into you guys. The angels are pouring in love into your cup. The angels are sending you a beautiful blessing, okay? This might be someone that's interested in you, someone that you're interested in, Leo. Let's find out, okay? Wow, okay? So you're in your Nine of Pentacles energy, being very blessed and abundant, connected to nature. I already told you guys you're having an awakening in your life where you are just having this aha moment, and you guys are like, wait a minute. I've been pouring all my love into other people, but I need to start pouring the love into myself. I need to start working on my pentacles, growing up your garden, okay? Focusing on yourself, self-love. Like I said, the angels are, are guiding you right now, okay? You guys are being guided, okay? And you guys look like you're starting to work on a project or you want to work on your own businesses and you're starting something new. You have this beautiful idea of a business, okay? And I see somebody coming towards you with this hasty communication or you're going to be getting some communication. This is uh, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? So you might be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, so you might have this in your chart, okay, Leo? But you're getting communication coming quickly about something, now, let's get some more messages and see what this communication is about, okay? Spirit guides, I'm going to leave these two over here, okay? The King and Queen of Cups. See what that is about. Spirit guides and Spirit out, Anna. Give me the messages for the Leo. Who is this person coming towards the Leo very quickly, very hasty? Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, this is what I'm getting, Leo. Okay, so you guys are in your her hermit phase. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but this is Virgo energy. But you guys are in your hermit phase, which is like actually you're activating your light within. You're activating your spiritual gifts. You're activating um, your God DNA. So you're actually receiving a lot of downloads, communication. You guys are um, activating your spiritual 
spiritual gifts okay so yeah you you're you're very intuitive right now and you guys are going for it all you guys are realizing that you have all these options that the world is yours that you can manifest that you can co-create that you can have whatever you like you can have whatever you like you can have whatever you like i don't know me okay but there's somebody here that's like, um, they look beat up, okay, Leo? This is somebody that probably betrayed you, hurt you, did you dirty, left you, left you out in the cold. But this person looks like they went through some ish, and they're going through something, and they might be having karma, and they want to communicate with you guys. They probably want to get on your good graces, or they probably want to um, communicate and try to resurrect the situation between you guys. But this person looks like they've been through the ringer, okay? The spiritual battle. The spiritual battle is real on earth. You guys got to connect to your spiritual sides. There's a battle between good and evil, and this person looked like they went on the other route, and they got some karma, and now they see you having options, and doing better, and feeling better, and now this person want to come in with an offer of communication, Knight of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, okay, my beautiful Leos, this could have been anybody that hurt you or betrayed you, they're coming back, they want to apologize, they want to make things right with you, okay, thank you spirit, thank you angels, thank you guides. Yes, there goes the Queen of Wands, Leo. You might be dealing with a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Beautiful energy here, male or female. This person is very wise and abundant, spiritual, um, knowledgeable. Might be um, working with you, mentoring you, or you're just getting some advice and knowledge from this Queen of Wands, Leo. And you're very, um, you're very enthused by this person. This person um, just gives you good energy. You feel like this person's there for you when you need this person. This person's always there to help or guide. Yes, you're, you're, you're starting a connection with this Queen of Wands. And you might want to um, come towards this Queen of Wands with some communication. This might be your energy, okay? But there's communication coming from a Queen of Wands, okay, towards you guys, Leo. Okay, or you're coming towards a Queen of Wands. Take the message out, resonate or fit. Wow, yeah, because um, the most high is calling judgment in your situation, so if you felt stuck, if you felt um, betrayed, if you felt like people were not reciprocating the love to you, but the most high is resurrection a situation for you, for you and this queen of wands, so you and this queen of wands might be moving in together, you guys might already be living together, but you might be moving in if you're not already living together, or you're going to start a situation, or you're going to build a foundation, you're going to build a business, or something's going to be built between you. And this Queen of Wands, Leo, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. And you guys might be manifesting this person or this person's manifesting you guys or this person's just an alchemist, okay? And um, and there's going to be a sudden shift in your life for the better, a sudden tower. It's getting you away from all these people that have been lying, betraying you, stealing your energy. You can't be around these people because you're just shifting your vibration too high. And this tower has to fall so that way you can find out whatever's being hidden. So you, you guys could come together, you and this Queen of Cups probably work together. This could be a work relationship, a business partnership, or, a, or you know, a love relationship, whatever. Okay, so let me get some more further messages, spirit guides and angels, about this Queen of Wands, this King of Cups. What's going on here for the Leos? Give me the messages, spirit guides, angels, spirit out uh, in. Uh, give me a couple cards out of this deck. Yep, this energy is moving quickly towards you. This could be you guys. You could, you guys could uh, just be getting in your car and leaving a situation, moving forward towards this Queen of Wands. Okay, or you guys are going to get a new car. Some of you guys are getting a new car. Congratulations, Leos. And this is Cancer energy, so you could be dealing with a Cancer as well. A, a Cancer is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's water energy with the Queen of Cups that came out. Okay, yeah. There she goes again. You might be dealing with a mother figure and you guys are leaving. You're getting a car and you guys are leaving together. Or this was, could be someone you're dealing with. That's a queen of cups that um, is coming towards you very quickly, okay? To offer you something, to give you good news, to give you an offer, okay? A message. This person wants to partner with you. You and this person are going to work together. You're becoming empowered with the, with the emperor card. You guys are becoming empowered. You guys want to boss up. You guys want to... Take your throne already, okay? And there's somebody that's very defensive because you cut them off. And they're trying to, this devil energy right here, Capricorn energy. This uh, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, and um, Libra, Aquarius energy right here coming towards you very hasty, very fast. This energy, they're, um, they wanted to keep you bound or stuck. And they're pissed because you moved away from them. 
And this messenger right here is going to give you some communication about this person that you walked away from. Because you needed to stand your ground with this person or these people. Okay, Leo? Good energy. Okay, let me get um some further messages with this deck for the Leos. Okay, spirit guides and angels. Give me some messages for the beautiful Leos watching. Hmm. Some of you guys might need to seek counseling. You might have to go to court. You might need to get a lawyer or something. Or some of you guys just need spiritual counseling. You might need to get a reading. If you need a reading, comment down below and I'll send you my email. And some of you guys have family involved in sabotaging your life for your blessing somehow. Yes. And you guys, um, some of you guys could be um, taking like... Um, feeling like you need anxiety medication or your nerves are acting up or you feel anxiety. You don't need medication, my beautiful Leos. You just need to do meditations on YouTube. So go search up calming energy meditations on YouTube and that will help your energy. You won't have to feel nervous or afraid or whatever. This summer, by like this summer, it's already past. So, you know, like maybe in the summertime, something happens significant and there's going to be evidence in your favor, guys. So there's going to be some new evidence coming out in your favor. If you guys are dealing with a court case or something like that, for some of you guys watching, there's going to be some new evidence in your favor, guys. Beautiful Leos. What else, spirits? Some of you guys are having issues because your father wasn't there for you. Your dad wasn't in your life. So you're having issues because of that. And you guys are working through those issues with healing meditations. And your dad might be having an issue, bad karma, bad luck. Your dad might be having a sudden issue with his health. And you guys are learning your spiritual lessons already, okay? Yes, thank you, spirits. Yep, there's going to be proof or evidence in your favor, okay? Somebody might have been selling their body online somehow. This was all orchestrated or planned. Somebody was um, doing some sneaky things be behind the scene. A lawyer has some proof, okay? Wow, interesting, interesting energy. Okay, now I'm going to end this reading with uh, a mystical, um, I mean, the Moonology Oracle deck here for you guys to get some advice from spirit and ancestors in your situation, Leos. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like you're going towards somebody or somebody's coming towards you with some sudden information or good news. You're going to be partnering up with someone. You might be working with them or having a relationship, moving forward together, moving in, something like that. Something is going to go in your favor, something that you've been hoping for, manifesting, Leo. Okay. Yes. The answers you need are coming, okay? So don't worry. You're going to find out if there was a Gemini in your life or there was somebody in your life that was deceitful, betraying you, wore two faces. Some um, communication that you need is coming. The answers you need are coming. So you'll be able to resolve that situation. It's time to take action towards this fire sign or this Aries. This is an Aries sign. But you, it's time to take action on something, okay? Beautiful Leos. What's, what's the next message? Yeah, the end of a tough cycle is approaching, okay, guys? The end of a tough cycle is approaching. You guys are, are going to be succeeding in whatever you put your mind to. You're going to be creating a new business. You're going to become empowered. So a new business is on the horizon and a fiery climax. So you might be coming together with an Aries because there's another Aries card, two Aries cards here, Leo. You might be connecting with an Aries. But you and this Aries or this fire sign, okay? A very fiery climax, very passionate. Very, very passionate, okay? Nothing is yet set in stone. So just because you don't see your ship doesn't mean it's not coming, guys. I want to get some romance angels on this Aries or this fire sign energy that you guys are passionate about or that they're coming towards you with the same energy. Let's get the message, spirit guides, angels. Detaching from toxic energy. Detaching from things that are keeping you stuck or bound. Trying to find your comfort zone. Trying to find the place where you fit in. And I feel like you're going towards this fire sign, this Aries, Leo, or Sag. Okay, thank you, spirit. Wow, engagement. This situation involves an engagement, Leo. Let me find out. You guys are going to pop the question or, or you, someone's going to ask you to marry them. Okay, it is safe for you to love. This person could have been holding back from you, but now it's safe for you to love. If you guys broke up and came back, this person's going to heal the situation, give you equal love and take. Or if this never happened, it is. It's going to happen. It's safe for you to love so you can put your guard down and don't be so defensive with them. This person loves you, Leo, okay? Or you love this person. Wow, beautiful energy. Thank you, Spirit, for that beautiful message. 
Okay. Playfulness. You guys are very playful together. Every time you're around this person, they make you laugh. They giggle. They just You just love their energy. You just love when, when you spend time with them. When you're not with this person, I don't know. You just feel, um, I don't know. When you're not with this person, you just feel like a little bit drained out. Or maybe you just miss them a lot because they're very playful. And this is something that you guys have together. Okay, Leo? You and this Aries, you and this fire sign were always playful together. And you miss this person, okay? You want to bring this back. Wow, okay. Pay attention to the red flags with these people in your life. They're just keeping you stuck from your person, from your past life soulmate. Let your friends help you if you need help, okay? Let go of your pride, Leo. If you need help, ask people for help. Don't be too prideful because you might be needing to get out of another situation. You need to love yourself fully and love yourself first because self-love is the best love, guys. Okay, and this is your energy. I love you guys so much, my beautiful Leos. Thank you for tuning in to this message. Till the next time, namaste.